Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to buy Glitzcoin on the Stellar Network using a decentralized exchange. So let's get going. Okay, so I've done a lot of videos uh, demonstrating how to buy cryptocurrencies on some of the major centralized exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, or Bittrex. Uh, but I haven't done very many videos on how to buy coins on decentralized exchanges. And uh, decentralized exchanges are gaining more popularity. They offer you a little more privacy and security uh, because the funds are controlled by your own wallet. Uh, they aren't controlled by a third party. Uh, and so there are uh, Ethereum-based decentralized exchanges uh, that a lot of people are familiar with, but there are also some decentralized exchanges associated with the Stellar network. So I thought I would demonstrate how that works. All right, so uh, Stellar is a decentralized network and it has its own native cryptocurrency called Stellar Lumens. So if you're not familiar with Stellar, it is one of the uh, high profile cryptocurrencies. It is currently number six by market cap. So it's not some fly by night coin, it's been around a while. So if you're interested in Stellar, uh, you can go over to the Stellar homepage and learn about it. And uh, if you wanna get your hands on some Stellar, you'll most likely need to buy it on one of the centralized exchanges. Um, like uh, Bittrex or Binance. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little bit of Lumens on in my Bittrex account. So basically what you'll have to do is uh, fund uh, Bittrex or Binance with uh, either US dollars or some other cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum, and that will allow you to uh, trade for Lumens so that you can buy and uh, have some Lumens. And then from there, you'll transfer it over into your Stellar-based wallet. Uh, so if you go over to the Stellar homepage and look up wallets, you can see that there are many ways to uh, hold your Stellar in your own wallet. And this is a much more secure way to hold your cryptocurrency. Now, I have a Ledger Nano S, and the uh, Ledger Nano S is capable of holding private keys for Stellar. So uh, I will demonstrate how that works with a Ledger. So uh, you'll need a Ledger Nano S, and you'll need to have the Stellar app installed on your Ledger Nano S, and you will need to be in that app. All right, so as you can see, I have the Stellar app on my Ledger Nano S, so I just need to uh, press both keys to enter into the Stellar app. So you can use uh, Ledger Live to install the Stellar app on your Ledger Nano S. And then once you've done that, you can go in here to uh, Ledger and uh, use with Account Viewer. And then you want to sign in with a Ledger, right? Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll just see uh, this public key in an empty balance. And then you'll be ready to transfer some Stellar in here. Now, you, uh, like I mentioned, you can go over to Bittrex, and if you have some uh, Stellar uh, that you've just purchased, you can make a withdrawal, and you'll wanna paste in the address of your Stellar wallet. So in this case, I would just cut and paste this guy in here, and I don't need the tag because I'm sending it to my own personal wallet, and then you would put in your amount, uh, in this case, maybe eight, but I've tried this, it doesn't work. I don't, it, it's not a large enough amount. Uh, so I can't really do a live demo of the transfer, but you can see the steps, right? And then you hit withdrawal, and then uh, you'll confirm, and then it will show up in your Stellar wallet. So once you've got your hands on some Stellar, now we're ready to log into a decentralized exchange and buy some Stellar based tokens. So uh, let's check that one out. So for today's demo, I'm gonna use Glitzcoin. It's a, a new blockchain based coin uh, that's involved in the diamond trade. Uh, you might find this quite interesting. So uh, I'll put the link to their website down in the, in the description. 
and there's a nice little article about what the diamond blockchain is and what it means and how it works. It's basically a way of making sure that the diamonds are certified uh, and not black market. Uh, so it's uh, a new way to trade and uh, buy and sell and trade diamonds. <laughs> So I heard about this company a while back and I thought it looked interesting, um, but I was unable to uh, participate in their ICO because as you know, most people in the US are blocked from participating in ICOs uh, for the time being. So, but the ICO is finished now and it is now available on uh, Stellar, on the Stellar uh, decentralized network, on a couple of different decentralized exchanges. So I thought it would be a good exercise uh, to buy this coin and see how uh, these decentralized exchanges work. All right, so uh, for today's uh, demo, <laughs> I'm going to use uh, Stellarport, and I'll leave the uh, link in the description on, uh, so you can go to Stellarport and learn how it works. It is a decentralized exchange for uh, the Stellar network. Now, it also uh, has sort of a built-in wallet, which you can create, uh, but I am not going to do it that way. I'm going to use my Ledger Nano S wallet uh, because it's a much more secure way uh, to uh, access a decentralized exchange. So uh, when we go to login, you'll see here that they give me the option to create a new wallet. But like I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my Ledger. So uh, before we uh, log into the exchange, we want to make sure that we are... Uh, Got the ledger connected, uh, the pin is entered, and we're in the Stellar app, which I demonstrated to you earlier. And we'll hit login method here, and you can see there are several other ways to log into this exchange, but uh, I'm going to use the ledger hardware wallet, All right? And then it tells me to make sure it's connected and I'm in the app, and then I'll hit connect ledger, All right? And it gives me a little information and the default and I can just hit uh, login. There's no need to change anything on this screen. All right? And there you go. You see that I'm logged in. I've been on this exchange before, so I'm enrolled in their lotto program. And you can see that they really only know me by this public Stellar address, which is unique, right? But I don't have to give them my email address. I don't have to give them all my personal information uh, to participate in this. So you get a little bit of privacy and security when uh, you trade on decentralized exchanges. They're becoming more popular lately. And I can check out my balances. And you can see that I've got a stellar balance up here. Uh, okay, so as you can see, uh, I have already purchased some Glitz coin. Uh, and the reason that I already have uh, is because my first video on this was an epic fail. Uh, the mic wasn't working right, the resolution was wrong, and so I had to start over. So uh, I'm not going to buy uh, a lot more, but I'm going to buy a little bit more so you can kind of see how this works. As you can see, I already own some Glitz coin. Now, it's interesting that this Glitz coin uh, does not appear in my Stellar wallet. So when I go over to my Stellar wallet uh, and look at my balance, uh, I can see my balance, but it doesn't tell me anything about the Glitz coin, right? It just shows uh, some transactions where Stellar has gone out but it doesn't read my balance on my Glitz coin. I have to be uh, logged into the exchange for my Glitz coins to show up. Uh, and they're basically living on my Stellar address, just as ERC20 tokens would live on an Ethereum address. So it's very similar to the way the Ethereum network works. You've got a, a, a network uh, of nodes and then you have a native cryptocurrency which is in this case XLM or lumens similar to ether on the Ethereum network and then any coins that you buy uh, will be show will show up uh, under your address so uh, they don't get their own wallet they just sort of live in your stellar balance right so it's pretty cool so let's check out how we would actually make a purchase. Let's go over here to exchange. And you can see there's lots of tokens here that are available for me to buy and sell uh, on the Stellar decentralized network. It's pretty cool. All right? And it even shows me up here, uh, you know, the exchange. Uh, that was the last one I checked. I didn't actually make any purchases. But in this case, I want to do Glitzcoin. 
And as you can see, it's pretty high in volume today. It's uh, number three on the Stellar Network. So I'm going to just uh, click Glitzcoin. And there we can see it shows me what my Stellar balance is, what my Glitzcoin balance is, and I can buy uh, some Glitzcoin if I want to. And then you can see the order books over here. Uh, the order books show you what people are currently offering uh, for Glitzcoin uh, using Stellar. So in this case here, we've got uh, 100 and uh, there's 198. Well, there were <laughs> that are being offered at this particular price. So and the price is uh, getting a bit higher as the day goes on. So um, all we need to do if we want to buy some, we just uh, offer some uh, XLM here. Now you can also do a limit, right? And the current limit price is 83, as you can see down here. And that may or may not execute right away because it uh, seems like the price is going up. But at the current, at, at this moment, there's 118 Glitz coins that are being offered for that price. So uh, let's go ahead and just put in, uh, let's say 20, right? Oh, looks like I missed my chance there, right? Uh, let's try that. Let's do the 0.9 to make sure that the purchase goes through. Yeah, because uh, no one's offering the 8.3 anymore. Ah, there we go. Let's try that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get 24 Glitz coins. I'm going to place my buy here. And it wants me to confirm. So I'm going to confirm. And then I need to sign the transaction. Now, uh, there are different ways to do this depending on the type of wallet that you're using to interface. Uh, we're using our Ledger Nano S, so we're going to use uh, the Sign with Ledger hardware wallet. All right, and it gives me the instructions. It tells me I need to be connected and in my uh, Stellar app, which I am, and then I'm going to click Sign. And then you'll notice that there uh, is a confirmation on the Ledger Nano S. So I'm just going to hit the uh, button over the check and submit that trade to the network. Uh, you'll notice that uh, it needed my uh, me personally to press the button in order to sign the transaction. So it's a very secure hardware wallet, right? And it looks like the trade just went went through right away. So uh, we got our extra Glitz coin and uh, the XLM balance has been adjusted. All right, and so we can go back over here, we can check our balance, and we can see uh, we've got a uh, little less lumens now and a little more Glitz coin, so pretty cool. So uh, that's it, that's how you buy coins on a decentralized exchange using the Stellar Network. There are other decentralized exchanges that you can buy uh, different tokens on. So if you have any questions about what I did, Throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in L.A. Uh, throw out any questions that you have and I'll try to get them answered. Or uh, just bring up any cop topics for discussion. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that's there that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.